wonderful afternoon and I don't want it to end actually because it's been so fantastic. Um, but we, we are moving through time and it is our wonderful uh, privilege really to sit in the power with Lynn now and she is going to take us through a lovely meditation, um, a healing meditation, a planetary healing meditation. So I think Barbara has teed us up nicely for that. I think we are all feeling the power. And I'd like to hand over to Lynn now. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Barbara, for your love and your colour for us all. I would just like to, before we start the meditation, to reflect on the number four again, because um, today, as we've heard recently, is the number four. If you add all the individual numbers of two, one, six, two, two up, and then you get 13, get four. We heard that earlier. But also 2020 is perfect sight. And this time, I think we are being given the opportunity to see what is needed on our planet, our, our gracious, wonderful, valuable planet. And coming back to the earlier time of 444, the triple four, 444, spiritually, is coming to us all as the wake up call for spiritual guides and that's what 444 means it's to wake it's a wake up call for our spiritual guides and our angels and they are with us when this number appears so how appropriate that we have that on our amazing solstice weekend so now we will go into the meditation and we will start by relaxing. So please take a breath in, a deep breath in. And as you let it out, let all the tension go, fall away from your body. And just feel any tension from your head down to your face and the tension that may be sitting in the jaw and into your neck and your shoulders. Just let it all fall away and your arms and your chest and your tummy into your thighs and through your knees, through your shins, into your feet and just check all the tension has gone from your body. And then feel your feet firmly on the ground and feel that wondrous, comforting, supportive earth beneath your feet. And feel the earth rising into your limbs, your life force. And now we will again open the chakras as we did earlier with our healing colors, starting with the base chakra of that lovely deep red. And then the sacral chakra with the nurturing orange and the solar plexus with that vibrant yellow and the wonderful heart chakra with the green and pink for love. Then the blue of the throat chakra and the soft magenta color for the third eye. And moving up to that lovely violet as we open the crown chakra. Now, with your chakras full of open as far as they needed to go for you, allow any sound that may come in during our meditation just to flow in with the vibration as we 
open up our wonderful channel of light and become beams of light, our spiritual source, as we walk forward on our journey together and we start at a lovely path which takes us to a stream and the stream is now beside the path touching, lapping the grassy bank as we move forward and we are aware of the sunlight the beautiful, powerful sun that is playing with the water, the trickling, bouncing water as it flows over its bed of rocks and tiny stones. They glisten in this wonderful sunlight. And as you walk slowly along, you can just feel the energy of that amazing sun on our powerful, powerful weekend that we are celebrating. And as we keep going, you, you, you just see all the energy around you, the butterflies and the bees and the flies as well, just as important. And just absorb all that natural energy of nature and keep walking slowly, just absorbing and relaxing. And then the path turns away from the stream and takes us through a clearing of healthy bushes and trees. Observe the green of all these lovely plants and shrubs and the strength of the tree trunks and the body of the whole tree, the lungs of the earth. And then the path takes us out of the clearing into a field, a field that has been left alone for a long time, but nature's field full of long grass, some green, some corn colour, and there are poppies, and there are buttercups, and daisies either side of this path. It is so nurturing for us to see all those beautiful flowers. And as you carry on along the path through this amazing field, this meadow. In the distance you can see an old barn, a derelict barn. And as you go through on your journey towards this barn and towards all that amazing nature's growth around the barn, slightly on the right, there is a sunflower standing alone. Perhaps one of our wonderful birds that are flying around the barn now dropped the seed at some point and this sunflower has just grown high. And as you move towards it, its high, strong, green stem is holding this amazing sunflower. And nearby, there is a tree trunk. It is tall enough to, for you to notice, but it is low enough for you to just go and sit on. And as you sit down, you have sight of this amazing sunflower. You can feel the sun on your back, warming your body, and the energy of the sun is amazing. It's profound strength that it gives you. And as you look up at the sunflower with its beautiful copper gold seeds inside the flower, 
numerous seeds that are there ready to provide another lot of sunflowers another time for that is what nature does for us all over the world it just keeps on providing seeds and in the drought areas and there's no water they turn to seeds and then they turn to roots beneath the earth to preserve their energy to come up again when the rains come and it's just amazing to think how lucky we are to have this amazing nature so i now would like you to just observe the sunflower again and their beautiful seeds and then the powerful, vibrant yellow petals around the seeds. And the petals are just being touched by a breeze, a warm summer's breeze. And as the sun is facing the earth, as they always, the sunflower is facing the sun, just connect with the sunflower power and the even bigger power of the sun and just feel that incredible miracle and as you do this and continue to do this for a moment open your heart and send out healing from your heart unconditional love out across the country to all those who have suffered the loss of loved ones especially on this day this special father's day and as you move out towards other countries just send that love that healing energy of the sun and the power of the sunflower for it is a flower of the sun just keep sending it out radiating like a whirlpool from your heart to all the people of the world across the continents and wrap it around the globe to heal this amazing planet and all the people all the beings all the animals the plants nature's growth and the birds every being on the earth heal 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 and remembering all the people on the earth who have lost people to the coronavirus that has come to serve us with lessons to help the planet survive in its healing. And as you wrap that love around the planet for its healing, for its self healing, also visualize a violet flame encircling the planet for this very powerful spiritual healing. And as you gather your valuable energy back, say please say thank you to the earth for our existence and the earth that nurtures us. And I will leave you for a moment to ask for any guidance for yourselves as we move into this very powerful time that is about to come to us on our journey. And I will call you back in a moment.
And now, as you remember your gift you have been given, just look back again at the sunflower and thank it for its wondrous energy and the privilege you have had to find it standing alone as we need to stand alone in our own power going forward. And now we will make our way back in the same way as we came to this wondrous place. So stand up from the tree trunk and connect your feet to the earth again and slowly walk away from the sunflower in the sunlight that is still with us and walk back through this amazing field of meadow flowers. Smell the wonderful scent and nature's perfume that comes from the grasses and all the variety of colours representing these lovely wildflowers. And just keep walking through this amazing field towards the clearing where we came through before, absorbing the green as you come towards the clearing. And now you are in the clearing with the energy of the trees and the bushes and the energy from the earth below. And then you have sight of that amazing stream with the clear water, powerful water that keeps us alive with our clear air. And just absorb the river before moving along the path to make our way back to where we are going. And as you go, you can still hear the trickling sound and the magic of the sunlight and all the tiny colours you can see in the water as it moves freely. And the colours of the rainbow appear separately and together as we do through our lives and in joy and peace and spiritual happiness. And just keep on walking along the path back to where we came from at the beginning of our journey. And now back where we started, in our own powerful spiritual energy. And our earth power. Thank planet and our spiritual guides. And when you're ready, move your fingers and your toes and feel your feet back in the room where you are and take a deep breath. And out. And when you just when you're ready, there's no hurry, just come back. And then open your eyes when you are ready to do so.
Thank you, Lynn. Just got a piece of music just for a while. People are coming back now. So we're going to play a piece of music and we've got some images that you might want to look at or, or keep your eyes a gaze somewhere else. But um, maybe it's time just to reflect on, on the day before we move into the closing that Linda and Alison will do with us. So I'm just going to play the song and then I'll, at the same time, I'll switch on the imagery. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Gone are the dark clouds that had me blind. It's gonna be bright, 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 sunshine and day. Okay, so that's just a little thing just to bring everyone back into the room and hopefully you know that's starting to integrate all the wonderful things that we've been shared with today um, and this is all recorded so if you go onto Facebook uh, you'll be able to see them there under Harry Edwards Healing Sanctuary um, and in the next few days uh, it will also come up onto the Harry Edwards Healing Sanctuary website, so all details there. Um, I know Linda will close in a moment, and I'll just invite Lynn just in a second just to say any final words. Um, but we we really value all your friendship and community, and I think over the whole time since uh, we started doing the online stuff. Um, not only have the speakers been amazing and we've made new friends, new connections, new sense of community, but also the conversations that happen after the sessions are very igniting and illuminative in so many ways. Um, individuals joining from all over the place, uh, really sharing their own inner wisdom and inner light has really helped us um, in, in so many ways that you know I, I can't really share enough how grateful we really are. So uh, 
thank you again for all the speakers today. Um, Lynn, did you want to just say any final words just before we switch back to Linda and Alison? I think we are going into a very challenging time <clears throat> and this is why we had to, um, it benefits us by sending out healing to the earth because we need that earth energy to move forward and help others who almost can't help themselves unfortunately and um, walk along them, walk alongside walk along with them and support them in any way that we feel we can be of help to them. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lynn. As we come towards the end of the day, I'd just like to reflect a little bit on how the Cygnus Cafe at Harry Edwards started in the first place. And some of you may be familiar with the Cygnus Review. I hope you could see that, the Cygnus Review, it still comes out. And that was started basically as a means for people who were interested in all things spiritual and holistic to be able to obtain books on the topics very, very cheaply. And then out of that grew an idea that wouldn't it be lovely to have cafes where people who had an interest in these things could come together because very often they, they felt isolated. Um, they didn't shine their light as Wendy Lee said this morning I think isn't it wonderful that all of a sudden we're out there and we're talking and we're sharing and the cafe started in its physical sense five years ago so it's been running five years and all of a sudden lockdown pushed us gave us this great big push to go online and Teresa said what do you think I was like eek um, and <laughs> And we've done it. We've done it. And the most amazing thing about this whole Cygnus journey has been that it's brought together community, not just those that were able to visit the sanctuary physically, as had been the case in the past, but we have people from across the ocean with us. It's amazing. We're, we're reaching out to people all over this country. And the wisdom that has been shared during lockdown has been absolutely phenomenal. It's been incredible. And people have been so generous and so kind in giving their time and sharing their wisdom. And we're just so grateful for that. And also the shared inspiration and the light and the connectivity that has come about, as Teresa said in the chats afterwards. Um, it's just been totally illuminating at a time that's really challenging and we know that as healers and light workers we are going to be busy we will have our work cut out um, but we also know that we're not doing it on our own we know that we have this lovely community of like-minded souls around us and that we will be working together and pulling together and that's just amazing and the fact that we have Harry Edwards Sanctuary there as well, which is a beacon of light, has always been a centre of healing. Um, that, that's just phenomenal too. So I'd just like to thank everybody for their time, for their wonderful generosity, for their inspiration, everything that's been shared, and especially our speakers and Teresa, Zoom Master Extraordinaire. Thank you so much. Um, and I hope that the rest of your solstice day is as special as you are. So um, over to Alice and then. Well, what an absolutely amazing day. I feel so relaxed by those guided meditations. I'm still somewhere up there. I don't quite know where, but I, I take on board your call to earth and to come and say a few words now. Um, what an absolutely amazing day. There's just one word to sum it up. Wow. Um, I don't know where the day has gone. It's gone so quickly. We've had some really amazing speakers and I've taken away something from each session as I'm sure all of you as well. Um, deep thanks um, to Linda and Teresa for all that you have done for Cygnus and for putting on this very special day as well incredibly special. Um, when we uh, broke for lunch, 
I had a quick um, nip over to Facebook uh, to see if I could pick up any stats um, from Facebook from this morning's recording. And what really struck me is how we're really growing this very important community. And that's so important at this time of the importance of community. Um, so this morning on Zoom, I counted up to 48 of us in the Zoom room in total. But on Facebook, we had this morning 304 views, reaching a total of 546 in total. And this afternoon, I've counted 52 at the high point in, in Zoom. Um, so important that we've got this community, that we keep this momentum going and that we continue to grow it and reach even further. I'm so pleased that not only are we getting traction within the UK, but we're actually reaching friends overseas as well and just continuing to build. Thank you very much from the depths of my heart to everyone who spoke today and for your time, and especially to Linda and Teresa as well. Thank you so much. All right, so that's us drawing to a close. Uh, for this part of the session. Um, we will be staying online. Um, so now is much more informal time. So for those of you that just want to stay for a cuppa and a chat, uh, you're more than welcome to do so. And uh, we'll probably keep this open for another half an hour. Um, and for those that would like to um, move on with their, the rest of the day, feeling more well, feeling more, um, then, um, you know, um, farewell for now and um, keep in touch, uh, sign up via the newsletter or via Facebook. Um, we're planning now the next set of things for July. In July, we are doing weekly Cygnus and weekly meditation. So Cygnus is on Wednesday at 10.15 and uh, the weekly meditation is at two on a Thursday so I'm delighted to share that so, so that will happen through July and like we said we're, we're going month by month so August um, will we'll start to shape up shortly we've got some other quite interesting talks that are just in in creation at the moment so we'll keep you posted on that any other ideas you have do let us know because we're quite keen to facilitate whatever it is that you need and if we can possibly help facilitate that we, we will do our level best to do that okay so i'm going to switch the recordings off so farewell to those on facebook and um also uh, for those of you that are joining us in the recording later um welcome and i hope you've enjoyed all all the all that you've experienced um through the recordings <laughs>